Hello everyone. Now we shall see today the extrusion which is one of the most important operation in polymer processing. Now we can go for biaxial orientation. Polypropylene and polyester films are commonly used for biaxial oriented films. BOPP indicates biaxial oriented polypropylene. The cast PP film is heated above its softening temperature which is well below its melting point. It is stretched in the machine direction using two rollers moving at speeds ratio of three or more. Polypropylene and polyester PET these films can be further processed by what is known as biaxial orientation. In this process the film is first cast. This cast film is then unwound from the roller. It is subjected to heating above its some softening point not melting and then this hot film is stretched in the machine direction. The roller speeds of the two rollers are different. The speed of the other roller is higher. So the film is unwound and at some speed and wound on another roller at much higher speed. Normally the ratios can be 1 is to 3. This way the film gets stretched, its length increases and thickness decreases. This is called orientation in the machine direction. After this the film is cooled and then oriented in the transverse direction. For this the film again is unwound and then it is subjected to stenter hooks from both sides of the film and then it is stretched in the transverse direction so that now the width of the film will increase. Again the width of the film may increase by a factor of 3 or so. So both ways the film is reducing its thickness initially the length increases then the width increases and the film thickness decreases. During this process the polymer molecules get oriented in the machine direction in the first process and in the transverse direction in the second process. This way the barrier properties of the film as well as mechanical properties of the film they enhance and therefore BOPP is used to get the films of superior quality of very very thin thickness. Now we can go for wire coating. This is a separate operation after the extruder. During wire coating the conductor of diameter D is pulled through the die of diameter D0 with a speed of V centimeter per second. The volume of material attached with the conductor let us say Q can be estimated by the formula which is given here and this estimate helps to select the screw speed for supplying so much of material. What we saw in the previous part of the lecture how to calculate the flow rate. So if we know the flow rate we can select the speed. Let us now consider the wire coating process. Conductor of diameter D is coated in a die where the die diameter is D0. The D0 decides the thickness of coating to be put on the conducting material. The material to be coated is supplied by the extruder which is at crosshead. The conductor moves with a linear velocity of V and then comes out from the die with a given coating. The coating gets cooled after it comes out of the die. The amount of material to be coated depends upon total thickness of coating and that much material has to be supplied by the extruder so that the exact material is pumped by the extruder into the die. 